if you want to learn Framer in 20 days ish with a course that is straight to the point, no fluffy sucky, then this course is for you completely for free. Let me give you a quick overview. So whenever you come to this landing page, you can click on start learning for free and then just put your email email address and you can access it after confirming your email. All right. So basically, this is for beginners. OK, so if you already made some websites with Framer and so on, this is not for you. Also, this is particularly a course that teaches the tool inside this course. I do not teach web design. There are two different things. <laughs> and so I'm preparing another free course that teaches web design, which is completely different. And many, many courses mixes those two things together. They want to teach the tool, want to teach web design, and then the student just ends up all overwhelmed because in all honesty, there are two different, uh, two different skills to master one after the other. There's no right or wrong here, but I mean, you can learn Framer, like how to use Framer, and then you start learning web design as a whole. Why? Because your creativity is limited by how can you use the tool, right? So if you learn web design, but now you don't know how to create a specific thing because you don't know how to use the tool, you're blocked, right? Then you can uh, start looking for tutorials. On the other hand, if you start learning the tool, you know, how to do this, that, and this, and that. Whenever you start learning web design, it's going to be easier for you to master a particular situation. For instance, create a complex animation, create tabs, etc. Whenever you want to do something, you know how to do it. Instead of losing two hours, three hours, Googling how to do that particular thing, and then come back on the project and then do it. This was my method before, but then I understood that when you learn the tool first, and then you add the real skill on top of it, which is web design, the gap between your brain that thinks that it can do something, but you can't, <laughs> and between the execution is just smaller. Even if you don't really know how to do it, you can Google it and find it because you know what you're looking for. If you don't know the tool, you don't know um the specificity you don't know what to look for and so with this course you'll have like let's say solid foundations i will prepare an intermediate course i don't even consider myself an expert just letting you know here and so yeah i mean i learn at the same time and it's a win-win situation for me i will update lessons so if you want to be notified, you can join the in-between letter here, put your email, and I'll add you to my list. Whenever there are new lessons or modules, I will let you know. I'm still learning with Framer. Again, like I'm not an expert, especially for a lazy person like me, because I productize my agency. And honestly, it's always the same thing. Always, always, always. Like I don't do anything new. And that could be detrimental for my purpose, which is teaching Framer uh, to as many people as possible. I have to exceed expectations. I have to keep learning myself. For that reason, I still uh, use my channel to teach Framer and learn at the same time because that's how I always learned faster, watching someone do something and then rebuild it myself. And so with that being said, I'll see you on the other side.